Okay. Now, what are the advantages of QTP? You know, seems like these are advantages of Selenium. Now, what are the advantages of QTP? So, I'll tell you thing. So, QTP, by using QTP team, we can automate three-tier application along with the two-tier applications also. It supports two-tier application, it supports three-tier application. So, what is mean by two-tier and three-tier adjustment? Do you have any knowledge? Is it Windows plus web based application? <laughs> yes, exactly. So, it's a product architecture. Okay. So, the, what is a two-tier and what is a three-tier means? So, it's a web application or Windows application. So, mm -hmm. two-tier is nothing but it's a Windows based application. Three-tier is nothing but it's a web based application. Jasmine, is it clear? Uh, two-tier is window and three-tier is what? Web, web. So, web -based. Web -based, those, all these are, you know, three-tier based application. Do you know two-tier? Two-tier is nothing but, you know, it's an installation process. We have to install that, you know, software. Without having internet also, we can able to, you know, use that application. It's Microsoft. You know, Word is a, it's a, a two-tier application. Microsoft Word. Excel is a two-tier application. Without having internet also, we can able to, you know, use that products, right? Those are all two-tier applications. So, three-tier application we, yes. Then what is the difference between uh, web application which is installed on uh, client servers and which are installed on customer servers, I mean open servers, public servers? Okay. Can you please repeat? So what is the difference between web applications which are installed on client servers versus public servers? Now usually we are not at all install the web applications on the client servers, right? So uh, like you see. internet we are, we are adding this, right? So QC, right? QC always installed. QC or Jira is always installed on client servers. That, yes, I agree with that. Again, see, even Skype is also different. Even Skype is also we have to install it. Correct. Right? That is comes under purely on distributed environment. We have to install it. It's a one it set up guidelines to use that. But if you look into that application, two our applications, I can say it's gonna be worked on through intranet, not internet. Correct. It works on through intranet, right? So it's a, it's, it comes only certain area. It is known as intranet. It's, a, it's known as a client server applications. But if you are looking for the web applications, you can access from anywhere in the world, anywhere on the globe, right? So intranet, yeah, intranet accessible applications you consider as two tier or three tier. The intranet is nothing but two tier. Okay. Yeah. So we are sometimes like, yeah. For example. Yes. As Sati said, like payment is screen in Walmart, for example, mm -hmm. right? That is also two tier, right? Sorry, can you repeat payment? Uh, oh, no, yeah, payment application, you know, in for yeah, example, yes. Walmart. Mm, okay. That is it's also two tier. Not at all. It's not at all two tier. <laughs> we are having, we are accessing that through internet, right? Yes. If we are not yeah. at all accessing through intranet, we are accessing That's through internet. Mm -hmm. I mean, application-wise, not not like not going to online and then see. Uh, I will show you in my application. I have Windows-based application and I have Windows mm -hmm. applications. I will show That's you, you know, what is a Windows and what is a web. So remember here that Windows-based means client-server application. We have to install an ARM machine. I agree. Even some yeah. of the web applications we have to install it, but those applications we access from through internet. Yeah. All right. We we'll go. So that. yes. So, by using QTP team, we can automate two-tier applications along with three-tier applications also. But by using Selenium team, we can just automate only three-tier applications by using Selenium. Selenium supports only three-tier applications. That is the reason we are saying that Selenium is open source system or used for executing the web application test cases. Okay, Selenium supports only web applications. Selenium supports only web applications. Okay, Selenium doesn't support any other, you know, like Windows based applications. Selenium supports only web applications. Okay, sometimes we have a Windows based controls also in our applications. Suppose say, I'm not at a complete this, yes, I'm telling you, you know, this is, you know, Windows based application. Suppose say, if you are downloading this Java download, go to the Google say Java download.
Download free Java software. Here I have a download free Java software link. See, when we click on this free Java download, it is giving the free Java download. And I have another option, which is start free download. See, did you notice that this is, you know, Windows based control? This is Windows based control. This is not at all web based control. Did you notice that I have an only one dialog box? If it is a web based control, we have a hidden, minimize and maximize options also. Did you notice that thing? Okay. So, drop the exe file. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes, you know, if you have a requirement like this, in even your, but this is appearing on a web application. This is appearing on a web application. So, if you have a requirement, you want to download the file, these are major high level test cases. How do you automate the test cases? Then it doesn't support two-time application. You can say, what are the challenges you faced on selling your means? You can say this answer in the coming session, I am going to discuss about all this stuff. Okay? But as of now, if you have a one control or two control, you need to take the help of Java, probably we can automate that. If you have an entire application, is a Windows based application, we can't able to automate it. Okay, Jasmine? What I am saying is it clear? Yes. Okay, so just remember that as of now, you know, if you have a one or two controls on the applications, Windows based control, you can take the third party API shell and we try to automate that. If the application is purely on other applications, we go choose the cell here. Okay, so I will tell you in the coming sessions, you don't need to worry about that. But Selenium purely supports on web applications. Selenium purely supports on web applications. But QTP supports 2 tier and 3 tier. So this is the advantage of QTP, first part. Okay, and second point is, this is also very, very important. If you say in the interview about this concept, everybody will be impressed. See, Sanket, you have awareness of QTP, right? Yeah. Right? So, every automation tool by default supports these components, these features like record and playback, mm -hmm. okay, descriptive programming, object identification, reading the data from external files, So all these are, you know, not only these features, we have some of the features also, right? So but this is expected for every automation tool, or agree or not? Record and playback, writing the programming, identifying the objects, reading the data from the external files, generating the reports. Mm -hmm. These are the common concepts we have in Every automation testing, we are not at all specifically talking about Selenium. So, these are the common things everywhere in every automation tool. So, we have these features like record and playback, descriptive programming, object identification, reading the data from the some external point that might be our Excel or Notepad or Word, whatever it may be, reading the data from there and generating the automation results. Apart from this, we have a lot of concepts. But if you say, if you are looking to the QTP tool, assume that this is a QTP tool. If you look into the QTP tool, if you want to do the record and playback option, there is an inbuilt option in the QTP tool for doing the record and playback. If you want to identify the objects, there is an inbuilt option for identifying objects in QTP tool objects file. If you want to write the descriptive programming, there is a test case pane here to write the scripts in the QTP tool. If you want to communicate to the some external files like Notepad or Excel, we have a data tables concept in QTP tool. Right? If you look into QTP tool, whatever the things we are depending on automation testing, every concept is an inbuilt option in QTP tool. Everything is an inbuilt concept in QTP tool. But if you look into the Selenium team, if you look into the Selenium, if you want to do the record and playback, we need if you want to write the descriptive programming, we need to take one third party API cell. If you want to edit the objects, you need to take one third party tool's help. If you look at the Selenium, Selenium, we don't have a specific tool for Selenium. Selenium is depending on number of third parties API. 
So you can say Selenium is a suit of tools. Team, are you getting what I'm saying? Yes. And each tool is open source, right? Yes, I'm saying that. The next point is that one. Whatever the tools we are using in Selenium, all these third party tools are again open source tools. Remember that. Whatever the third party tools we are using in Selenium, all these third party tools are again open source tools. Okay. So here whatever the open source tools we have in the market, the open source tools are divided into Selenium flavors. The third party APIs are divided into Selenium flavors. In that the first one needs we have a Selenium IDK, then we have a Selenium RC. Okay, then we have a Selenium grid. I think you are looking for some other point, right? So what is that? It's a vector. Okay, so this is not a component of Selenium. This is advance of RC. This is enhancements of Selenium RC. Okay. Means of Selenium RC. Now everybody will be concentrating on only web driver. Everybody will be concentrating on only web driver. So you should for developing Selenium to work with Selenium to you know to get job on Selenium side. You should have. I am going to be you know discuss in our middle sections probably. I am going to discuss first concept of Selenium ID. It might take three or four sections in Selenium ID. Even in our real time, we are not at all using Selenium IDE, but just only to discuss very very important topics that is object identification, synchronization, verifications. Okay, if you have any knowledge on these three concepts, you can play with any automation testing tool. You are not at all depending on the only P3. You can not only depending on the Selenium. You can play with any automation tool. Every automation tool is depending on only these three concepts. Scripting is different, but concepts are same. Object identification, you have to do it. Verification is very very important. If you have verified that, then only the test case is fully automated. Otherwise, it's not at all automated test case. So every automation tool is depending on these three concepts: object identification, synchronization, verification. Those three concepts I am going to discuss in Selenium ID. It might take only three to four sections. Yes, I am partially for all these topics. Once we started the descriptive programming, I am going to explain these topics in very detail manner. Okay, once we are done with the Selenium IDE, so I am going to be start with the Java section. And remember here, here I am not at all covering A to Z Java here. I am not at all covering A to Z Java. I am going to discuss how much Java is required for Selenium to design one powerful framework in Selenium. That much Java is going to be teach here because Java is huge. You already have heard of that, right? Java is huge. We have a core Java. In even in core Java, I am going to touch each and every topic. I am going to touch each and every topic. So interview tracking is my job. Definitely, you know, in the end of the section, I am sure, pretty sure, you can grab it any interview in Selenium side. I am going to be cover each and every Java interview question, and I am going to discuss Java how much is required for Selenium side. Once I completed the Java, I'm going to be start with the web driver. So web driver might be taken again chapter 15 section 3. I'm going to discuss each and every control on the on the web page. We can handle each and every control. I'm not at all copy and paste in the team core team. I'm going to define the code different of few. Okay, so we're going to handle each and every control. Do you get my course content team? Do you get my course content? What are the topics I'm going to be cover? Yeah, I have not. Okay, so just you know, just observe this course. This introduction is what is automation testing. So just we discuss today, right? Yeah. So uh, hey, uh, I think um, you know, uh, that's when we told you about our status of Java knowledge, right? So yeah. I'm going to be start from I'm going to start Java from scratch. No need to worry yeah. about that. I'm yeah. staying in very fascinating, in very easy manner. Yeah, our issue is Java actually, right, Jasmine? <laughs> everybody gets to know that you know everybody is scared about Java. That is the reason we are choosing the testing side, right? If we have a strong Java skills, then why we come for the testing side? Simply we go for the testing side, right? I understand that. Yeah. But you know, uh, Jasmine, I'm going to you know discuss Java in very, very, very pretty easy manner. End of the day, probably you know after completion of Java, selling them to you might understand Java, I believe. 
Okay, so uh, see here that first video which we are going to discuss about all these topics, what is automation testing and what we need to automate, what is selenium, advantage of selenium, difference between QTP and selenium and then we go for the art selenium ID installation part. So it, it might take you know probably you know, three to four days, I don't need to spend more time on selenium because ID, because we never use selenium ID, even in the interview they are not even focusing on selenium ID. So simply they focus on only Java, once we succeed the Java then they go focus on only the driver. Right, so you don't need to worry about that part. So once I complete the base, I'm going to discuss all these features of Java basics. So it's in the Java, it's in the LS features of Java, why Java for Selenium, first program, data types, string classes, if statements, groups, and all the stuff. I'm touch each and every topic in the course Java. You can you you cannot you know, get any new question from Java in the interview. Whatever topics I'm discussing here, only back questions you will get it. That means that means. I am going to discuss you know main road of Java. So out of the scope of the Java I am going to discuss you here. Okay, once I completely of this thing you RC, you know I am going to discuss one web driver part thing. So in the web driver what are the sample programs? So text how to handle the text boxes, link buttons, text box, radio button, drop downs, display all the values in the notepad, capture screenshots, synchronization commands, file uploads, file downloads, alerts, confirmation boxes, handling iframes, multiple tabs. So each and every control generating the reports, every control we are going to discuss in here. Even I am going to discuss even build tool also. I will tell you what is the build tool coming sections. Right, so team, any queries from your end? Apart from the Java, Java will take care of me, no need to worry about that. Satish, any queries? So, <laughs> and we are going to be, yes, Harish, and I am going to discuss in here with live applications. I am not at all taking any other applications. So, application is your wish. If you want to automate Facebook, you can automate the Facebook. If you want to automate the Gmail, you can automate the Gmail. So, any kind of application, I am pretty, you know, compatible with that. What about APIs? APIs means you want APIs, APIs is different, right? It's not all that comes under Selenium part, right? No, but uh, they have a Selenium API, right? They automate APIs to, through Selenium. Yeah, I have experience on APIs, but I am not at all mentioning on that course. That oh. is different. Again, I know you need to contact the surrender. I will tell you about the APIs testing. Yes, I am going to discuss with the web services. If you want, I am discussing with the web services with the Jersey or REST API. Mm -hmm. Okay, not in a soap you are. For our I am using this rest assured or Jesse. I have both experience in Jesse and rest assured. Purely on JSON. So yes, if you want, you can able to automate the API also, but that is different. Uh, it's not at all comes under selenium parts of this. Okay. Yep. So any other questions apart from this? Uh, so if you want to know API answer is, you know, I'll take care of it. So we'll discuss in you know coming, you know. Any sessions? How we going to be discussing the APS part? Okay.